is a voice that you thought you might not ever, ever hear again. Listen, listen. This old house was near my children. This old house was near my wife. This old house was home and comfort As we fought the storm of life This old house was rang with laughter This old house heard many shouts Now she trembles in the darkness Two more steps and I've made it. <laughs> George Yass. When the light dim walks up Ain't gonna need this house in no long. Ain't gonna need this house in no more. Ain't got time. Ain't got time to fix the floor Ain't got time to all the hinges Nor the window and no tank Ain't gonna need this house in all long I'm getting ready to meet the stairs <laughs> George Yachts, are you happy to see George Yachts here tonight? Since, since I'm here, let me do a little Jesse. <laughs> I taught Jesse how to dance. <laughs> Is he a sight for sore eyes? I call this guy about... I call you about every day, don't I? I know you do, Bill, and what a... You make an old man feel good. Mm. George and Glenn and the Cathedral Quartet has how, how many years up in this part of the country? About 30, about 40 years, About 40 you? years. About 40 years up this part of the country. They redefined what quartet singing, good quartet singing, was all about. These crazy characters did it, and they did it. They did it. And every time I call you, every time I call you, you got a, you got a new story. What was an, you sang me a song the other day on, on the phone when I called you. Oh, <laughs> I got to thinking, what would it be like if a guy didn't really know the girl he was marrying, you know? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> go like this, uh, we got married last Friday. My girl was right there beside me. Our friends were all gone. We were alone, side by side. We were so happily wed when she got ready for bed then. Her teeth and her hair she placed in a chair. Side by side. One glass eye so tiny. One hearing aid so small. Then she took one leg off and placed <laughs> on the chair by the wall. I stood there broken hearted. <laughs> Most of my girl had departed. I slept on the chair. There was more of her there. <laughs> By side. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was supposed to sing that song just to you, not to 20,000 people. <laughs> you know, one of the biggest comments we get on the videos is, 
you got the coolest old people I've ever seen on those videos. <laughs> they still know how to laugh at themselves and, and just have a good time. Do you get out much? Do you go out and eat in some of the restaurants there around Stowe every now and then? Oh, yeah. I go out to uh, Cracker Barrel. You go to Cracker Barrel? Yes, sir. Yeah. Do, and do, uh, do, do you ever go to a place like Walmart? Or? Uh, I, I live at Walmart. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I go from there to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Do people recognize you? They... Oh, yeah. They... <laughs> the other day, we was at a shopping mall there in Akron, and uh, uh, they, I had spoke to several people. George, George. They see you on the video. They see me on the video. So I went to, I had to go to the, to the bathroom, so I walked in the bathroom, and uh, I went in the stall, and some guy said, how you doing? And I, and I thought, He's, he must have saw me through the crack of that door or something. They don't recognize me. He said, how you doing? I said, ah, oh, pretty good. He said, what time is it? I said, you know, I don't know. I left my watch at home. He said, wait a minute. Could you hold on a minute and let me call you back? This guy in the next stall is answering everything I say to you. <laughs> I went to the doctor the other day and the doctor said, George, do you, do you do any exercise? I said, like what? He said, like, well, do you bend over and touch your toes? I said, well, if God had wanted me to touch my toes, he'd have put them on my knees. <laughs> Spiffy. I mean, tell you, this guy has been through every heart problem you can be through on dialysis three times a week, and you never call him and say, how you doing? He said, you know, I've had two or three of the best days that I've had for a long time. You can't get this character down. But he uh, he got himself back in the hospital here a while back, and, and they didn't think he'd going to make it again. Yeah, I've had two cardiac uh, the rest, and they thought they lost them both times. But you know what I remember more than anything? It's so embarrassing them gowns you put on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there ain't no way you, you walk down to try to hold it this way, you know, and there ain't no way you can cover up your whole body, you know. <laughs> of course, they give me a shot of that morphine, I, I don't even wear a gown. <laughs> stopped by one morning on our way to Erie about, about a year ago and he was in there again and Ernie, Ernie Haas called me and said, Bill, I don't think he's going to make it. And uh, I said, well, we're coming through here in a couple of days. And by the time we got there, he got through the deep part and I, I asked the kids on the way up, I said, How? it was about 6 o'clock in the morning and you were already up in your bed entertaining all the nurses. <laughs> did I have a gown on? Yeah, I, I did it. <laughs> of buttons you can ring and they had it wired up and everything he says watch what happens when i push this button <laughs> and nurses and doctors are coming from all over the place say what's going on he said, i just seen if you were there <laughs> george it's a joy to have you here tonight you got you, you want to sing something for us here now bill I, I'd, I'd love to i do you know i i, I don't have uh, the strength that i used to have but uh I'm just as good looking as ever was. <laughs> no, uh, oh, bless you. you know, Bill, I, I didn't know if I'd ever walk on stage with you again or not. And uh, at this 30 mile down the stove where I live, and my son in laws and my daughters brought me up here tonight. You can't, I can't tell you. 
It's like medicine the doctors can't give you. 